the Indonesian and South Korean parties sat at the table to overcome the crises in the KF-21 fighter jet program. DAPA Minister Dong Wan went to Indonesia. South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, Minister Im Dong Wan traveled to Indonesia on Wednesday. Dong Wan is expected to stay in Jakarta until the end of this week to hold talks with senior Indonesian defense officials regarding the KF-21 fighter jet. According to the statements made, the minister of DAPA went to Jakarta to resolve the issue of cost share that Indonesia did not pay for the KF-21 fighter jet development project in which it is a partner. Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, Minister E.M. Dong Wan traveled to Indonesia on Wednesday and is expected to stay there until the end of this week to meet with senior Indonesian defense officials, according to a DAPA statement. The meeting was barely planned because Indonesian officials were constantly changing, a military source said. Jakarta's commitment to the KF-21 project, which was launched in 2015, was faced with question marks due to delays in payments. Payments were stopped in January 2019 and restarted in November 2022. As a partner country, Indonesia has agreed to undertake approximately 20% of the 8.1 trillion won, 5.99 billion United States dollars, cost of the project by 2026, in return for receiving a prototype, technology transfer and producing 48 KF-21 in the country. It is estimated that Indonesia has paid 278.3 billion won for the project so far and is about 1 trillion won behind in payments. Last month, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol met with his Indonesian counterpart Joko Widodo in Jakarta and reaffirmed their determination for the successful completion of the KF-21 project. The KF-21 program, called KF-X, is known as the largest defense project ever carried out by the South Korean government. A budget of 8.8 .8 trillion won, $7.1 billion, has been allocated for the development cost of the 4.5-generation KF-21 Boromae aircraft, which has very low visibility compared to a fourth-generation fighter, to which Indonesia has committed to contribute 20%. The project consists of two phases over 13 years, from 2015 to 2028. The first phase focuses on the development of the aircraft and the development of capabilities for air-to-air -air combat between 2015 and 2026. Air-to-ground firing capabilities to conduct air-to-ground operations will be developed in the second phase, which will be held between 2026 and 2028. Korea Aerospace Industries Kai, aims to deliver 120 KF-21 Boromae fighter jets to the South Korean Air Force by 2032.